having to unlock your car with this all the time can be painful, clunky, and annoying, especially when you've got an armful of things like groceries or camping chairs or whatever you may be taking to your car. Today, I wanna to show you how you too can program in a remote on your Land Cruiser, just to make it as simple as that. Now, before I kick this video off today, guys, I just wanted to make special mention of a couple of things. So first thing being, I've had some work done on this recently. And some of you might remember the big ugly rust dent that I had here. Well, I took that to Brighty South East Collision Repairs and they have fixed that up like brand new. I had to ask them if they'd actually gone and got a new panel because it is just that good. The other thing that they did is cleaned up this mess of a panel that I tried to repaint a while back. It looks just like as if it just came out the factory. And they've also color coded the scoop and given the whole thing a nice cut and polish. So we've got no more little rust flecks up the sides here or around on the back tailgate like we had once upon a time. The other thing that I wanted to plug while I'm out here is my latest little addition and that is my SA Land Cruiser sticker. So if you're in South Australia and you've got a Land Cruiser of any model, you should get around that Facebook page because it is a great community of guys with Land Cruisers. I've met up with a couple of them just as they've been down in Robe um, and they're really great guys. Uh, all of them that I've met that uh, are part of this little Land Cruiser family we've got going on here. So be sure to go check that out if you're on Facebook and you're a fellow South Australian Land Cruiser enthusiast. So basically what I'm going to be walking you through today is how I found the programming sequence to code in a fresh key remote on a 1998 HZJ 105 series Land Cruiser. So, First thing you'll be looking for is uh, actually the receiving module, which is in like behind the glove box on the passenger side. Once you know you've got that, you know you're pretty safe to go and get yourself one of these remote keys. And uh, the reason I'm gonna show you this today is because I know there is a lot of confusion around the sequence and oh hell, I probably tried 15 or 20 times before I actually um, got this to work. I was uh, pretty dedicated to have it work and I was, I was sure it would. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be walking you through that today. This might not be the same on every uh, Land Cruiser or even every 105 series. I'm not sure, I'm not an expert here, but to assist you, I'm gonna show you exactly what I did uh, on mine to get this to work. So we're gonna start with disconnecting the negative terminal off all of your batteries. If you've got two, if you've got three, just anything connected to the power of the vehicle, connect the negative terminal. Once you reconnect it, after about three minutes, you'll only need to reconnect one. I did this on my main cranking battery. Once the terminal's on, you've got 20 seconds to put this into programming mode. You wanna jump in the car, close the door, put the key in, and then go from accessories to on and back 20 times, and then finish in the lock position. I finished that within 12 seconds, and for some reason, it didn't work. 18 seconds later, I tried again because in the books I read, the research I did, you can try again for some reason if it doesn't work the first time. So I then finished that within 10 seconds and the indicators started flashing, which meant that it had successfully entered programming mode. The indicators will then flash 20 times and on the 20th time or just after, you want to hit that button on your remote. The indicator should flash again to say that it has successfully entered a new remote. And then I'll put that key onto the on position. Once the remote has been programmed in, Apparently turning the key to the on position for a bit and then back to lock saves this key in the computer. No way. There you go. <laughs> it's working. Now it's flashing again. Oh, that means 
I don't know either. <laughs> Look at the remote. So there you go guys. I can't promise this is going to work on your Land Cruiser. As I said earlier, I don't know if this is the same for all of them, but this is the sequence that I walked through. So hopefully that sheds some light and uh, might assist you in programming in your remote. So before I wrap this video up, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to each and every one of you because I just crossed the line to 2000 subscribers just the other day. So um, I can't express enough how much I appreciate the support that you guys have given me. Uh, I am flooded with Instagram and Facebook messages and YouTube comments, um, you know, just after some advice or giving me advice because I know that I don't get everything perfect all the time. Um, so I really do appreciate the support and the little community that we're creating here. So uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please get around it because I really do appreciate that. Um, and I love chatting to you guys. If you've got, uh, you know, need some help on something that I might have done before or you know, likewise, if I need something help on uh, help with something that you might have done before, it's a it's a great little community. So um, yeah, thanks so much for that. And uh, yeah, if you like this, please remember to share it with your friends. Subscribe, obviously, like, comment, find me on Facebook, Instagram, and um, I'll see you in the next video.